Hello YouTube, welcome back to Morris Manor. Now, um, yes, th yeah, this is what I look like. I don't usually uh, show my image on my YouTube videos if you've seen them, which you probably haven't. I'm not very popular on YouTube. Anyway, it's recently came to my attention that I haven't shown or talked very much even about most of my, um, Halloween props. Now, um, well, I guess you can kind of see back there is my, um, ticket booth, which is homemade. I might do a review on that at some point. And right next to it, right there, is my snake pit cage thing, which I also made myself. And I know I did do a, a review on my morbid man-eater, which I made myself, but, uh, I figured, you know, might as well, um, show off some of my actual props that are licensed that you can buy at the store. Um, I do have a few more prop videos, which I will be probably releasing pretty soon. Anyway, enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and show you some of my props. So, um, uh, all I got, I went to the Dollar Tree and picked up about ten of these, uh, cool popcorn bags. I only have two right now. Most of them are filled up with healing foam. So they look like popcorn, which, um, Hauntformer did a video on that, so I don't want to take any credit for that. That's all Hauntformer's idea. Uh, anyway, and I also have from Spirit the Deddy Teddy, which I do also have the Deddy Bear of this. I do not have the Feral Fuzzy one from Morbid, but I do have this and the Deddy Bear. Uh, I just wanted to change the batteries in this one, see if he looks fine now. Uh, I won't show you the whole thing, I will let you, uh, if you want to see the whole thing, you can go ahead and check out the Spirit Halloween video of him, which they have a pretty good one. The next one I wanted to show you was, uh, my Jumping Spider. He's a great prop, very, uh, surprising one. He's a great quality, too. He, I've had him for almost a year, not even a sign of breaking at all. Same thing with the Daddy Teddy. I've had my Daddy Bear for uh, maybe two or three years. He's not as good as he used to be. But then I didn't start taking care of my Halloween props very well at first because he... Uh, I took him outside once and he got kind of wet, so that probably would explain why my daddy bear isn't working too well. The daddy teddy's fine. Uh, then I have my uh, possessed wall hanger right here, which is a great prop. She's extremely creepy. I would highly recommend it highly recommend her, except the problem is, um, I did get her, when, well, when I got her, then, uh, I, like, uh, put her together, you know, and then plug, plug the adapter in, and she was working fine for a while, then, um, one day I decided to get all the props out to make sure they were working, and, you know, whatever, and, um, then when I turned it on, I noticed it was w moving kind of strangely, like, not really how it should, just kind of, uh, I don't know, it was moving okay, just messed up kind of, I don't know how to explain it really. So I looked at the battery box, and there was smoke coming out of it, and, um, so I took it outside, I raced it outside, and, uh, cause I thought, you know, what if there was a fire in there, what would, would have happened if I burned down the house? So, um, I took it outside, and took the, th I turned it off first, you know, and took off the battery compartment lid, and there was no fire, but there was a hole burnt through where the wires connect into the box, so that's not good. Uh, I guess she's, she's still really creepy, though. She's really terrifying. I don't think I, it's not, I don't think it's my fault that she got messed up. I don't know what happened there. That's not gonna happen <laughs> to most people's um, but anyway, and, um, those are all the props I have to show you right now. Um, some other ones I could tell you, though. Uh, I do have Peekaboo Penny, which is probably, uh, either the first or second most surprising prop I have, either right before or after the Jumping Spider. And I do have the, um, creepy clown thing from, uh, the Walgreens, I think. And, um... The evil scientist from Spirit. I have, um, 
Well, I have a ton of Halloween props, just I'm trying to think of, like, the life-sized, um, animatronic ones. Uh, well, I know this year I'm gonna get some kind of clown prop from Spirit, I'm still deciding which one. And probably a fog machine, I'm thinking about it. If I can find it anywhere, I'm going to, um, try to get a, uh, either a thrashing clown or a bloody bag of jokes. If you have any idea where I could find any of that stuff, please leave it below in the comments. And, um, that would be extremely helpful. I've been looking everywhere for it, like, uh, the Spirit Halloween website, eBay, Amazon, Techie Toys, and, um, well, I guess the Techie Toys website has the thrashing clown, but it's not for sale, I don't think. If I'm wrong on that, then, uh, you can go ahead and correct me in the comments. But anyway, so, um, anyway, getting back to the props that I have, it's, uh, I don't know if I actually have any more. I feel like I do. Um, I have the, oh yeah, I have the, um, uh, haunted doll from Spirit Halloween. One of the, not the, uh, roaming antique doll. It's like one of those $20, uh, haunted dolls. Uh, if you know, if you're a big fan of Spirit, you'll know which one I'm talking about. And, uh, I think that's pretty much it. So, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you have any kind of, uh, prop display, if you want me to do any kind of prop displays from the, um, things I just told you, you can go ahead and, uh, tell me in the comments, because I'm kind of running out of ideas for which props to display next, and it would definitely be helpful if I knew what you guys wanted to see. So, uh, thanks for watching, and, um, <coughs> happy hauntings, everyone, and remember, Halloween is in the air.